Hey everyone, Joy here. It is a Monday, marvelous Monday, January 11, 2016. And I have the best, best news you guys wanted to know, so you're the first to know except for Terry and Lou. <laughs> but um, the doctor just called, the doctor's office just called and said your MRI results are in. And you don't even need to come in to see us. She said your MRI showed that there's no problems in your brain. The, there is the meningioma, which is about the size of Jerry's thumbnail. And um, it's old and calcified. And it's causing no pressure and no swelling on my brain. So I don't even have to go to the doctor unless I just want to. And I'll tell you right now, I don't want to. <laughs> I trust Dr. Jesus over any other doctor. So I'm just crossing that problem off my list and going back to my new quilt. Now I do have to go in and get these lovely stitches out this afternoon. I'm meeting Margaret for lunch and uh, we're going to the Outback and I'm going to finally be able to give her the Christmas present I made her months ago. And uh, then I'm going to go get the stitches out and then I'm going to come back and get ready to go home tomorrow morning. Yay! How exciting is that? Poor Terry, she's had to take care of our cats ever since we left last Wednesday. She's probably so sick of our cats. Anyway, I want to give you a little tip and show you how far I've gotten on my brand new Edita Sitar Silhouette Seasons quilt. These are the two blocks that I've finished. This one with the skates. Now, they aren't finished finished. They're just ironed on. I still have to stitch around all of the different um, designs with my sewing machine, but I'm not going to do that until I get outside. I'm going to go ahead and just make all the blocks. Now I'll stitch around them. Or maybe when I get down there, I'll start stitching around them. I just don't want to start here because I don't have the uh, invisible thread here. And I want to do it all with invisible thread. So I don't have to keep changing colors on the sewing machine. And it'll just go much faster. So this is January. How pretty is that? I wish that the cameras could show how pretty these really are. They are so much prettier in person. Hold on one let second and let me arrange February. Okay, here's February. February. I know how to say it right. Um, this one has some kind of a, a plant that has little hearts hanging all over it. How cute is that? And of course, part of the instructions and part of doing this is you go in with those, um, you know, those pens that are, well, they're not ink pens. They're like paint pens. They're real fine paint pens. I think they're called microns. And I have a whole bunch of those at my other house. And you draw. Like on the skates, you draw where the little lace holes go. And on this, you draw a little um, line down to each hanging heart and over to each leaf. Okay, so none of that's on here yet. And so now, today, I'm going to start March. And March is this big water can with flowers. Every month is some kind of container for flowers. So I wanted to show you that our beginner applicators, I'm telling you, if you try to do that kind of applique like the really good grannies do, where you make everything a quarter inch bigger and then you take the glue stick and you fold all the edges under a quarter inch and then you have to sit with a needle forever and sew them all down. This is not that kind of applique. <laughs> this is fast and fun joy style applique and evidently added a sitar style applique. Okay, so here's the background piece and you can see it's all folded up and has all those creases in it. So, I don't have as nice an ironing board here. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that at my other house, I have that great big top on my ironing board. It's a big rectangle. And so it holds, um, it holds a lot bigger piece of fabric on it. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece of fabric and I'm going to fold it in half and in half. And then I'm going to lightly iron it so I have got a center line, a center place I can put across, okay? I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to mark the center right here because I need to know where the center is in order to place my design. Now, since my ironing board is smaller here, 
I cannot lay this flat on the ironing board. And in order to place all of those little pieces to the flowers and the petals and the leaves and everything, this has to be flat. You also, once you place all the different pieces on it, you cannot pick it up and move it to the ironing board. So this was my tip today, is I have this little table, everybody has a table in their house, and I just took a big thick bath towel and I folded it in half, and I can put this piece flat on that, okay? I can put my template right next to it, right there, and then I can start pulling the pieces out and placing them, and all I have to do, see here is part of the water can, I'll place it on there, and all I have to do is move my iron down. I, I made sure to put it where my iron could reach it. And probably most of you don't have this big, heavy steam iron thing with the water in it, so you could just move your iron anywhere. And see, then I can iron it right here, and won't have to move it, and it can all stay flat. So that's my tip of the day. And praise God, uh, my brain is all right, contrary to popular belief, and I'm going to go on with my life in Kingston. So, bye for now.